Hi guys, this is Robbie, and currently I'm showing, showing two Astro workplaces. One is Dota 2, and as you saw earlier, the place for one of the games is and one is So, this is uh, running on Astro workplaces, but the thing is, it's running inside a remote desktop session. As you can see here, uh, it's running inside the remote desktop session and you may ask how it's possible to have that much fps in workplace over the the reason that i'm playing over the net and still having the good fps is that uh, i have changed some group policies and some registry to make this possible and You can get uh, better FPS or uh, you can increase the quality, uh, but your FPS will be less. Uh, you can also limit the FPS for the game uh, by checking the maximum frame rate. And as I increase the quality, the FPS will go down, but it's not limited. It's not fixed to 30 FPS, which is the default for RDP. And, uh, I'll show you how to do that now. To do that, we need to set one registry entry and one group policy. The first one, the registry is called DWM frame interval and it needs to be set in uh, at key, uh, local machine, system, control set, control, terminal server, win station. Uh, if you don't see this, uh, then you need to create a new D word and name it as D frame interval and then set the value as f or hexadecimal f or default decimal 15 and then click ok after this uh, you need to go to group policies and to enable windows component go to uh, you have to go to windows component then remote desktop services then remote desktop session host then can sorry remote desktop environment and there uh, look for configure as to four sorry prioritize as to four AVC 444 graphics mode for remote desktop connection. This is what unlocks the frame rate or FPS for the remote desktop connection. After you enable it, you need to restart the computer once and then after applying and restarting the computer, next time you remote, you will get better FPS and will not be limited to 30 FPS. That is default limit. The FPS will depend on the refresh rate of your monitor if your monitor is 75 hertz then you can go get up to 75 uh, fps on the games if you enable vsync if you disable vsync uh, the fps will be higher similarly if you have 140 hertz monitor then the fps will be 140 or higher uh, in my case uh, the fps for this monitor is 60 hertz and i can go up to 75 hertz And uh, when I remote into the computer next time, I will get 75, uh, 70 to 75 FPS on games. Uh, we can check it simply using a. We can do a FPS test uh, by going into UFO test UFO website. Test UFO.com and you will. As you can see, I'm in remote and I'm getting above 30 FPS and sometimes getting 60 to 70 FPS. Sorry, 60 above 60 FPS. So, the reason to play the games remotely is that you will not get flicker issues that happens on the workplaces when you e exit or enter a full screen mode or full screen game uh, and this uh, helps to mitigate that issue.